this is the result if we perform or if we use the new values for the binary interaction. Okay, but exit, of course, the result can be, it can be unreasonable for this one. So we can use this set values, okay? Maximum value, this one. Now we check whether there are any binary interaction higher than 0 0.07. So let's let's check. I don't think so. No, right? No. All the numbers are lower than 0 0.07. But as per this one, in particular, there are if there are the set max value and pressing set value can be used to change all BICs larger than the entered value to the entered value. As before, the quality, the quick calculate can be used to further quality check. Viewing the face envelope, it can be seen that the introduction of BICs are have significantly increased saturation pressure, which now exceed the reported by 350. So yes. Right, so currently the calculated phase envelope is higher, or the calculated saturation pressure is higher than the laboratory data. Okay, so from here, okay, now go back here. Next, reduce the maximum binary interaction coefficient until we get a closer match with the reported saturation pressure. Please note that the, because the EOS already offer predicted saturation pressure without any BICs have being used, for any positive BICs, the EOS will continue to do so. All right. In our case, it was decided to progress with BICs, though not exactly required, and limiting the maximum BICs to 0 0.01. With this, we have now reached another milestone whose state we would like to preserve in case we wish to revert any changes made during the regression. To recreate a milestone copy of, of the stream and or the file as described previously, please first return to the main screen by pressing exit and save three times. Okay, so let's maximum value this one first. So I will exit, exit, and I will set max value to zero, zero. 0 0.01 okay still set values to this one or set value 0, 0, 001 Okay, so now it's better, right? Better. All right, very good. So now our saturation pressure based on the equation of state is matched with the laboratory data. Click exit, exit, exit and save, exit and save. Now I will, what, what is the, the name? Binary interaction or pseudo splitting. So let's call it copy exit stream. Let's call it pseudo splitting, pseudo splitting. BIC. Okay, now go back to Wellstream. So again, we will open the manual. Now after binary interaction, we go to enter lab data. Now that we have defined the pseudo properties, split the pseudo and have applied the BIC, we are almost in position to perform the regression to fine tune the EOS.